Hey, what's going on? Welcome to Fearless Friday. I want to talk about the topic of approaching and the ways to actually stop a woman. Now, you can stop a woman head on, you can stop her from the side, or you can stop her from the back. I want to talk about all three of them, the benefits to them, but also why guys tend to not go head on or not come from the side or not go from the back. Everybody's got their own story about this kind of stuff. Now, and then I'll also tell you guys about how I do it, which has great success and great effect because I've really learned to master it over time and uh, get comfortable in doing so, so I don't have stories around doing it the way that I do it. So let's talk about coming in head on. Now, when you're walking down the street, you're at a shopping mall, you're at a mall, you're at a grocery store, and you're seeing a girl head on, it's actually a lot easier, especially if the girl's making eye contact with you or she's looked at you or she's seen you. But if she doesn't see you, that's okay too, because it's not hard to approach a girl head on. Now, a lot of guys have stories that uh, it's kind of creepy, especially if a girl's already seen them, they can't go up and talk to her. But I actually, I think doing it head on may be the easier way. Now, doing it head on has a lot more tension than the other two, right? Because again, you're straight beelining it over there, you've seen her and then you go straight over there. If she can see you coming, that's a lot of tension for a lot of guys. The fact that she can see you coming and in that she's probably giving off cues, facial cues, body language as you're starting to move over there. And the thing about guys is we tend to see these cues and we tend to immediately take some of these cues as rejection versus just realizing that there's a guy walking over to her. She has no idea who he is. So her body and her face are going to do a couple different things. When you really get good at this one, you realize that um, a lot of girls are open to stopping for you if you are confident in your energy as you're walking over there. Now, earlier on, I didn't like doing head on because it had a lot more tension in it. It's like, oh, they see me coming. So now I kind of got to hide or it's going to be weird if I just go straight over there and start talking to her or she's just going to pass me by. But what that really was, was it had everything to do with my energy and not so much the way I was stopping them. So if I was affected by the facial cues or the weirdness of approaching them head on, it would show my interaction, right? The energy, I'll pick up on it. And then when I go over there to actually talk to them, I'd be a little bit weird. I'd be a little bit uh, out of my element. Like I wouldn't feel very confident in doing it. And so the more I practice this, the more I start to realize, I was like, oh, this is actually way more natural to do. And girls will stop for you. Especially if you're present, you allow yourself to be a bigger energy. What I mean by that is not being meek, not being small, not shrinking down, and actually showing up like, hey, excuse me, hang on a second, I love that dress on you. Like when you show up with that kind of energy, people respond to it. Now, if you're showing up small and weak and apologetic, then you're asking for permission. People also respond to that too, but the way they respond to it is they wanna get away from it as quick as possible because it makes them feel a certain way in their body that they don't wanna feel. So. If you're a guy who is not having success with approaching head on, it's your energy, it's your, it's, your, it's your confidence, it's your ability to show up and be a little bit more penetrating, a little bit more assertive in your approach that's really slowing you down more than it is the way that you're approaching. Let's go to the second one. And I see this a lot in guys who maybe have done pickup, and this is coming from the side, approaching from the side. So guys will see a girl pass, and then what they'll do is they'll chase her down and then they come up alongside of her as she's walking and just start chatting with her. That can go really well if you stop the girl and you don't just keep walking with her. Now, a lot of the times I see it where guys are approaching these women and they're just getting caught in her flow of walking and they don't have any intention to actually stop her. And so what does she do? Well, she keeps walking she's already in her element, she's already moving right. The guy never shows this assertiveness, this intention to stop her and actually connect with her. So a lot of the times when I see those don't go really well because guys don't stop the girl. If this is you, stop the girl. Walk alongside her is fine, but have an intention to actually stop and have a conversation with her and talk to her. And then it could go really well because once you have her stopped, then you can actually have a connection with her because until she stops, she's moving, moving, moving. She's not present. She's not feeling the emotional cycle. She's not feeling the, the cycle of connection. She's not, she's not feeling your groundedness. And that's why it's so vital to stop, get that eye, that eye contact going and jumping into a full enjoyment of the girl. Let's jump into our third one, coming from behind. And I see a lot of guys who have issues with this. I personally favor coming from behind because it gives you a chance to assert your power the power of your voice, you know, your ability to stop somebody who's already in motion, who doesn't even see you. 
if there's something about that to me that if you can stop a woman in her tracks from behind and she hasn't seen you yet with your voice, I feel like that alone is powerful. And so I love getting the kick out of walking up behind a woman and say, hey, excuse me, and then having them slow down, turn around and look, do a full circle turn and then plant themselves and stop. So then I can have the conversation with them. <laughs> then I can have the connection with them. A lot of guys do get creeped out about coming from behind because they feel like they're being intrusive, invasive, it's weird. Whereas me, for instance, I don't feel like it's weird. I actually feel like there's a lot more fun to be had in it. You have a lot more power in doing so. And nine times out of 10, you always get the girl to stop and plant versus doing the other two. So again, everybody's got their own preference. What I would say is find what's comfortable for you, but also find which way are you actually avoiding and then start to play with that way that you're avoiding more to see what your stories are around it. And then start to practice, practice that way so that you can kind of come to the idea that it doesn't matter which way you do it, as long as you show up in your power. That means being loud, speaking louder, being more assertive, showing intention, being very clear about your intentions and stopping the girl and having her plan it. So guys, when you go out this weekend or you go out today or you go out tomorrow, practice these things, find out which in which ways you're actually holding back or avoiding in the ways that you stop women or is it even a big deal to you at all and go out and practice the different ways. The more powerful your stop, the quicker you get her attention, the greater the chance that you actually have to create a connection with a girl. Okay. So anyways, guys, short video. Hope you gained a lot from it. Don't forget to hit like and subscribe so you can get these videos every Friday. And I hope you guys are out there killing it. And again, let us know in the comments how these videos are helping you. Uh, I saw the comments of the last video. They were great guys were actually going out and using the techniques and having great success with it. So I want to keep pumping these videos out so you guys can get better with the stuff. Guys, remember, only the confident really live.